Hello and welcome to this lab session. In this lesson, you will learn how to upload a data set for your machine learning project on S3. For our case, we have the data set for a Titanic project. So for that, we will go to S3 and click here. This is the home page for the S3 storage bucket. And here is a bucket already available from my previous use. Let's create a new bucket. For that, click here on Create Bucket. Now, let me name it as Titanic SageMaker Project. Then it asks for the storage location in AWS region. I will go with the default Oricon option. Then it asks you whether you want to block all public access or not. We have no such requirement of blocking the public access. So I will uncheck this option and I will acknowledge it where it says that turning off block all public access might result in this bucket and the objects within becoming public. It does not matter for this case and also we will be needing the public access for cases where you want to access your dataset from any third party application or so. Moving ahead, it asks for the bucket versioning. This is used where you have multiple versions of a file or updates. So we only have data set, so we will go ahead with the disabled option. Let's create the bucket with other settings as default. So finally our bucket is created. Once it is created, we go in there. Then you can either upload the files or create a folder. And good approach is to create a folder as all your results, manipulated files, the trained model, you will be saving them in the same folder. Now I will create the folder here with the name as dataset. So this means that this folder only contains the dataset files. So now the folder is created. I will go into this and then upload the files. Once you click on the upload option, here is the add files option and I will locate my dataset files, select them and click on upload. It will take a few minutes depending on the file size. Okay, so our files are uploaded, just close it. And here are our two files, the train and the test files in our dataset folder inside the Titanic SageMaker project. So this is how you create a bucket and upload your dataset in S3. In our future lab sessions, we will look at how you can use these dataset files from the S3 bucket in your SageMaker project. 